Hey everyone, tonight I'm going to show you this new flashlight I just bought. This is actually the first test of it. I turned it on a couple times, it's very bright, but I'm going to show it to you now. So, in most of my recent vlogs and camping videos, I'll do a segment where I walk through the woods when I'm camping, show you the area at night. I've been using this flashlight here, it's a diving lamp. It gets very hot, it's nice to hold in cold weather, and I'll show you what it does right now. So it's got red, which is really cool. It's got flashing red. It could be the back of a boat, I think, if you wanted it to. It's got blue. Awesome. It's got, looks like police lights. Awesome. You can also turn that on with the bright. See, pretty bright. Medium. Low. You can turn the blue on with it, the red on with it, just for a tint. Kind of cool. can turn the police lights on with it, too. And shut it off. I'm going to show you guys a very, very big one. So I'll leave a link to this flashlight in the description. goes for about $60. Batteries sold separately. I'll also leave a link for the batteries I recommend for it. You have to open it up, remove them, recharge them, put them back in. It goes for about 30 minutes on high. It slowly dies, which means you can walk around for hours, but being bright enough to film, about 30 minutes. Then it'll, it will literally be on all night, but very, very bright on high for about 30 minutes. Stays on for many hours after that. Good light. Now today we're going to try this gigantic one. This also gets very, very hot. It says hot, hot surface all over it. It gets very hot. The front of this is hot enough to literally light a piece of paper on fire. And once it gets hot, it's got a cooling fan. So it makes a little bit of noise. But I don't think it's enough noise where it'll be an interruption while I'm talking. So this big light we're going to use for exploring abandoned buildings, abandoned tunnels. In the summertime, I plan on making another western trip. We'll go inside a lot of train tunnels. Abandoned mines, things like that. I'm right now researching, doing a list of things we might do out west in the summer. If anyone in the comments has ideas of things, I'm open to that too. So this thing here goes for $600 on Amazon. It's got a battery capable of being on 50 hours on low. Wait until you see how bright low is. This thing's low setting is brighter than this thing's high. And this thing on high is like carrying off-road light in your hands. But how long will it stay bright? We're gonna find that out tonight as we walk down these abandoned train tracks. So, I'm gonna turn it on right now. This is low, about as bright as that other one. But I like this one because it shines far. The diving lamp shines wide. So this is low, this is 700 lumens. If I click the light, wait, wait a sec. That's very bright. That's high. Look at that. You can see, look how far down the railroad tracks you can see. Imagine when we're inside a train tunnel, how this is going to look. Or exploring abandoned buildings. Oh, that's the cooling fan. It's a little bit loud, but it definitely, I can talk over it. You just got to click it off to get that to stop. So let me show you the different settings. That's 100,000 lumens. That's 20,000 lumens. Wait a second. Let's get this thing on again. Um, I'm still learning how to use it. 20,000 lumens. 50,000. 100,000. Wait. I, I read that wrong. 700. Wait a sec. 700. 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 22,000, 30,000, 60,000. So it, it's advertised as 100,000 lumens, but that it doesn't actually happen. With the little display here only shows it going up to 60,000 lumens. But still, I'm not going to complain. It's very bright. But this thing on low, just being on low is enough to explore abandoned buildings. Because this is a big space. We're outside, but if we're inside an abandoned house, low like this... Should be enough for most cases. And on low, it appears the cooling fan doesn't turn on. If 
5,000, 10,000, no cooling fans, still very bright. 22, all right, as bright as it goes. Now we're going to go for a walk with this, and we're going to see how long it actually stays bright. It's very cold outside, so I'm going to put my gloves back on. And I like how it comes with this nice strap. Look at that. Don't want to aim it towards you because it's very bright. You know, they're actually thinking about banning this flashlight in a couple of states because it's so bright. Now that I have it down here, away from my ears, I can barely hear the cooling fan now that it's down away from me. So if I'm holding the camera here, holding a camera rig, I don't think that noise is going to be a problem. But it's very bright. From here, I can feel the heat. It's like a heat lamp. Yeah, if I leave my hand in front of it for more than a few seconds, it'll burn. I once had a light for filming. that You actually have to plug in the wall. A very old light for filming. Like, you could aim it at pieces of paper half a foot away. It would start smoking. I believe this would probably do the same thing. But, let's go for a walk. Alright, everyone. We're going to go for a little walk now, see how long this thing actually stays bright. Um, might take my gloves off, maybe. Let's see. Let's go for a walk. Looks like someone was pulling a sled down here. So these are abandoned train tracks we drove to tonight. Let's go for a walk. It looks like a bunch of wind damage. Not going to lie, you know what this smells like? you got to make sure it also doesn't burn my jacket because it's very hot, that part. You see how they make it? How it's supposed to be on your side. Hopefully it doesn't burn me. I'm going to actually try to hold it. It smells like a popcorn maker. You, you know those air poppers where you melt the butter on the top of it as it's popping into a bowl? And we got some poop. Um, that's what it smells like to me as it's heating up for its very first time. It smells like a popcorn machine to me exactly what it smells like. It smells like a popcorn machine. And you see it's flashing on a little display. Warning hot. It, it, it smells like we're making popcorn. So the longevity of this, this thing, how long is it going to last? Is it going to burn out after a couple uses? Am I going to have this for many years? We're going to find out. If this thing survives many trips into tunnels and stuff into abandoned buildings but it'll eventually pay for itself we're gonna find out so it's very very bright it's probably as bright as off-road lights that I have in my truck much brighter than normal headlamps headlights on a car so I'm very curious is it going to outlast the other one on high? It's supposed to go 50 hours, like I said, on the low setting, which is very bright. That's all you need to explore. If that really goes for 50 hours like advertised, that's awesome. And, and right now it's winter time. If, if my hands get cold, I can just put them in front of this thing as I walk, switching hands back and forth. This flashlight, it's made out of full metal. The only bad reviews it had on Amazon were, it's too heavy. But, what do you expect for a flashlight that can go that long? Oh, look. Someone was cutting up stuff. So, it looks like this tree wasn't cut up when that person went sledding. Or brought their sled. Maybe someone went camping down here. This is actually, it looks like some good cherry wood. There's also a, a culvert pipe we could walk through on this abandoned railroad if we walk that far. It sounds like I'm carrying a computer tower with me. All the fans running. Let's see what happens if I turn it back down onto low. Do the cooling fans. Also stay off. Yep, they stay off on low. So now, the body of this thing. Let me get the flash on so I can show you. Um, here we go. So, 
this is very hot. You cannot touch for more than a few seconds this whole piece. Here, slightly warm, very hot. The lens, somehow the lens of the light, this glass, the glass itself does not get hot somehow. It's like those new stoves. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Nice and bright again. Wow. Now it's saying a hundred thousand. Before it didn't. Is this brighter than before? Wow. This is the first time it actually kicked into a hundred thousand. Maybe it, it won't immediately go to a hundred thousand unless it's heated up. Leave in the description. Is that a thing with lights? Will it not go to a hundred thousand right away because it's too much immediate heat for the device to handle? I don't know. But that's really cool. We actually got it on a hundred thousand now. Looks like there's more trees down ahead. Wow, on a hundred thousand, this is awesome. Look how far it goes. We got to get around that fallen tree and see how far it goes. Now that we're on this much, 40,000 lumens brighter than before, now how hot's the flashlight going to get? Oops, clicked it off. Um, I'm still getting used to how to use this. It's very touchy. Wait, 50. Can I even get it onto 100 again? No, it's not going there again. It's not dying. It's... Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it just went on to... Oh, there we go. 100,000. So it appears 100,000. It doesn't go there in settings. You have to manually turn it on. I don't know. I'll eventually figure out how exactly it does that. It's not dying. But... We'll see. Look at all these trees down. There's another tree down. Wow, this gigantic one uprooted. So this flashlight will definitely be good when we go out at night doing these vlogs. Definitely. Let's see if I can get you into panoramic mode. How will that look? Well, even in panoramic mode... Okay, now that this thing is on 100,000... It's getting very hot. The heat is coming down the handle. And it's very cold outside. So this is not a diving lamp. Myself and a lot of people in my comments have had concerns about the diving lamp. The other little one I showed you at the beginning of the video. Because it gets so hot, people were saying, maybe it'll burn itself out. Because it's maybe supposed to be underwater to keep itself cool. I also thought that. That's a good point. But... This one gets just as hot, much hotter. This one is not made to go in the water. It's not waterproof as far as I know. And this one is very hot. And now the entire handle's heating up near the lithium ion battery. That was another concern I had for the other. Will it get too hot where it makes the lithium ion battery explode? There's no comments, no reviews at all about this thing having an exploding hazard. So I'm not worried about that. I'm also going to find out when I get home from dead, how long will it take to charge? It took about two hours to get to a full charge from whatever power it came with from the factory. A lot of trees down here. I got lucky this year. Last winter, I made a bunch of videos of winter cleanup because I had over 50 trees fall over. This year, I only had three trees fall over and they fell into places where they don't even have to be cleaned up. So that was good for me. Now that we're finally past the blowdown, you can see it goes very far. The trees, this even looks like a train tunnel itself. So hopefully we're able to find some cool tunnels out west this year. A couple years ago when I did my last western trip, we explored some tunnels. Those videos people actually really loved. So I want to do a few more of those. We don't have many long tunnels on the east coast. But out west, with all those mountains... They're everywhere. I'm going to end the vlog here, but I just want to say this flashlight is amazing to hold when it's cold like this. It's very cold out. It's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 
and if it was negative temperatures, you could hold on to this flashlight, it's so big, with both hands. You hold on to it with both hands and you don't even need to wear gloves. It's awesome. It's like carrying a heater. And I'll leave in my description how long it lasted me, that kind of stuff. But we're just going to enjoy our hike now. This thing goes for another five miles or so. Nice nighttime hike. And thanks for watching and have a great night, everyone.